Doom Nation, we're back here. Happy New Year, guys. Uh, it's your captain. We're out here in the cabin in the back. And we are doing another Doomed review. I hope everybody had a great New Year's. Uh, we're doing a review on the Antarctic Survival Shovel. I know it's a weird item. Uh, I got it in a Secret Santa from uh, one of my friends. And uh, this was something I wanted for a while now. Uh, one of my buddies a while back had it at a camping trip that we had, and it was probably the most useful tool we had on the campgrounds. So we are going to open it up, go through it, and then afterwards we're going to take it outside and we're going to actually test it. So, without further ado, this obviously is the shovel end. We'll probably fast forward all the uh, assembly because it's quite boring. A little bit about it, obviously, shovel, axe edge, saw, which I'll be interested to see if this will actually saw through anything, and a rope hook right here. And then we have three rods that each have their own different tool. Also, it came with this nice little carrying case. This is great. This is probably a really good tool to have in your car. You know, the end of the world's not happening anytime soon, hopefully, but this is definitely something to keep in your car for an emergency situation. So the base, the bottom rod, we have a window breaker. Unfortunately, I don't think we have any windows to break unless, you know, Skaggs doesn't mind we start busting up his house. But I have my reservations about this because I've seen these before. They don't really do too well. The bottom unscrews and you have a magnesium rod. I've never started a fire with magnesium before, but the idea is you scrape off some of it. You light it with some tinder and it burns a super hot, uh, super hot flame. And then a survival whistle. A little rape whistle on top of your uh, your murder weapon here. All right. Then the next piece, which I don't see getting too much use in the wilderness or in regular, but uh, it's a double-headed screwdriver, Phillips and flathead. I'm pretty sure that'll screw in a screw. I mean, I don't know how much we're going to really need to test that. And it grows. Final rod. Comes with a little knife, a bottle opener, and a saw on the back of the knife. Now, when I did get this, I had to sharpen the knife. It was, uh, it was a little dull. Um, it seems to have a pretty good edge right now. I don't know if it's going to hold the edge by any means, but uh, I guess we'll find that out. The saw on the back of it actually is cut pretty nicely, and you could actually feel that it would dig in. There we go. Once again, this is Antarctica Survival Shovel. I don't know if you'd want to bring this to Antarctica with you, but why the hell not? And finally, There you have it, in all of its glory. And you could obviously set it up in different manners. Uh, the tools, I put them in just the way I wanted them to. Uh, but for now, we're gonna have it like this and uh, we're gonna actually head outside and we're gonna give them a, a quick test. So we'll do that now. All right, we're outside with the Antarctic Survival Shovel. So first things first, I have no doubt in my mind that the shovel will not fail, so. Look at that. We're digging holes. And it's going right through the roots. As I assumed, the shovel will work. So this little tree is in our way. Let's see if the knife, the axe edge, will do any good. So far, so good. Let's try something a little bit bigger now. Holding together nicely. Wow. 
bites in. I don't know if we're going to be able to split this lock. Well, that's just the screwdriver inside. Axe edge and shovel work. Now something I wanted to try. A little bit more of a handheld axe and also the knife. Holding together quite nicely, and I'm going fully at it. Seems to work. I guess the last part we'll try is the saw. So far, the saw is cutting in not a very big saw so you're gonna put in a lot of work but as you can see I don't know if you could zoom in on this it bites in quite nicely I mean it's doing everything a saw wants to do it's just gonna take you a lot of work yeah I'm not gonna put all my time and energy into that finally let's see about this knife edge Oh, look at that. After swinging it around, it's gotten a little bit tighter. This was the noise you heard. No big deal. This came loose while we were swinging it around. Let's see. Maybe carve my name into something. About this piece of wood. Ah. The knife is not too sharp. No, this isn't sharp at all. Kind of like you. Thank you. This I wouldn't really be bringing out into the woods. Uh, there's definitely a million other survival knives out there. Look at that, even the tip is already a little bit rolled over and we didn't even really dig into it. Yeah, I wouldn't expect this knife to be too great. Anyway, that's our outdoor testing of it, like I figured. We'd be able to shovel with it. It cuts pretty well. The axe edge is very versatile. So, uh, yeah, I'd give this product like an 8 out of 10, I guess. The majority of the stuff works. Nothing's broken. Uh, I'm not too familiar on how to start a fire with a magnesium rod. So it's not something I'm going to try and take to do today. We might be out here all day. And it's a bit cold and we have a nice warm house to go into. So with that, Doom Nation, this has been... Your captain's review of the Antarctic Survival Shovel. Hope you guys enjoyed it. You can find this on Amazon and you can find us on Spotify, iHeartRadio, YouTube. And as always, our Facebook is at 2 Do Men. And our Instagram account is at 2 Do Men underscore podcast. Hope you guys enjoyed it.